Fitbit, Nike Fuel Band, Jawbone Up. These are some of the most popular activity trackers on the market right now, and they're all the rage. But they're like $150. Before I saw off my arm and my leg, do these things actually work? Hello, hello, D News friends. Lacey Green here. Activity trackers are those gadgety thingamabobs that track motion to help you better estimate how much energy you're expending each day. Like those old school pedometers that you could hook on your jeans, but juiced up with some technology and science. I've been considering getting one because, like, Trace and Anthony both have one and I feel really left out. I'm skeptical about their abilities though, and apparently, I'm not alone on that. Dr. Mex, a scientist at Azusa Pacific University, tried out one of these buggers and found that after wearing it all day, it said that he had barely even moved. Shocked and appalled, he decided, hey, I think I'll do a little research on these. The manufacturers have, of course, conducted their own experiments on the bands, but as you might imagine, without any peer review, it makes it very easy to skew or exaggerate results. So this was some of the first independent research on these new trackers. For this study, his team strapped 16 people with three different types of trackers, as well as a clunky oxygen consumption gauge, because oxygen consumption is consistently one of the most reliable ways to track how much energy you're exerting. The scientists found that all the types of activity trackers were pretty darn accurate when it came to more obvious movement, like jogging. However, on the whole, they underestimated the amount of moving around that people did throughout the day, which I thought it would be the opposite, that the trackers would overestimate the number of calories you're burning, but in this study, as well as another one that was published in the Journal of Medicine and Science in Sports and Exercise, both found that daily energy expenditure was lowballed. So between hip and arm monitors, armbands were the worst. They didn't pick up on things like sweeping, standing up, carrying boxes, bike riding, you know, little daily activities that do add up. And typing, according to the armband, makes for one hell of a workout, which if that were true, I'd be like a fitness goddess right now. Instead, I just have a bright future combating carpal tunnel syndrome. Does this mean that the new generation of fitness bands are a gimmick? Personally, I don't think so. For one thing, underestimating energy output is more useful than overestimating. If anything, it's just gonna encourage me to move more, not less. Also, the band is just sort of a physical reminder to take the stairs instead of the elevator, park further away, go for a daily walk. It's an expensive reminder, but it's a reminder, no less, and I think that's a good thing, even if some of the brands do make false promises. There's also a bright future for these gadgets. They're constantly being reworked and updated for accuracy. There's actually a new tracker in the works that embeds in your shoe, and then it captures the changes in foot pressure and posture, so it gives a more accurate sense of what your body is actually doing. Do any of you have a fitness or activity tracker? I'd love to hear about your experience with it in the comments below or on Twitter at DNews. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.